this is a different problem on support reactions. Previously, we have discussed um, uniformly distributed load, point load, and uniformly varying load. What you have here is a parallel force system, the boundary of which is described by an equation of a line. So you have a curve here, which is described by W equal to 28x square Newton per meter. So this is not a linear uh, change in force. So the total force of this force system will be area of this, uh, this shape here or the area under this curve. In order to find the area, you need to integrate or you need to use the method of integration. And the total force of uh, this force system will be acting as a point load at the center of gravity of this area or the centroid of this area. If you are not sure how to find the centroid of an area, go through this video where I discuss uh, centroid and uh, center of gravity. If you haven't already done so, I would highly recommend you to go through this video before proceeding further in uh, finding the resultant and center of gravity of the given force system. So once you are clear with the centroid and resultant of this area, you can move on. So what we need to do here is to find the total area under the curve and also the centroid of the area described by this curve. For that, I'm, what I'm doing here is taking a small infinitesimal area here and we know the curve is described by W equal to 28x square Newton per meter. So I'm taking an, a small infinitesimal area here at a distance x from A. The width of this area is dx and the height obviously it's W which is described by 28x square. So you have the area of this small element is height w into dx. So assuming this as a rectangle. So you have dA is equal to w dx. The total distance is 3 meter. So integral of dA 0 to 3 is equal to integral of 0 to 3. You know W is 28x square. So that is 28x square dx which is equal to 28 into x square dx is x cube by 3. within limits 0 to 3 that is 28 into 3 raised to 3 divided by 3 minus 0 raised to 3 divided by 3 that will give you 28 into 9 which is 3 cube by 3 is 3 square so 28 into 9 that is just using my calculator here, 28 into 9 is 252. That is the area of this given shape and therefore the total force of this curved force system is 252 Newton. So we have calculated the total force and now you need to calculate the centroid of the given area. Now, moving on to the problem, we have 252 
newton that is a total force so i'm just writing it here 252 newton and you don't know the distance here and you know the force will be acting through the centroid of this area so centroid of the area is centroid center of gravity or centroid is integral x dA divided by integral dA so we know the distance uh, the the dA here is 28x square dx within limits 0 to 3. So we are using the same condition here that is that is equal to integral 0 to 3 x into 28x square dx. 28x square dx is the dA over integral dA is 252. We have already calculated it in the previous step as 252 newton integral dA so you can substitute it here and what you have is that is equal to 0 to 3 28 x cube dx over 252 that is equal to 28 x raised to 4 by 4 within limits 0 to 3 over 252 and that's equal to 28 into 3 raised to 4 divided by 4 over 252 and that will give you after calculation that is 567 by 252 28 into 3 raised to 4 by 4 that is 567 over 252 that is 2.25 So the distance to the centroid from A is 2.25. We have taken the x here. So the x, the shown x is 2.25 meter. So now you know the force is acting at 2.25 meter from A and the total force is 252 Newton. Now taking moment about A, you will have RA passing through A, so therefore no moments, 252 acting downwards at 2.25 meter, so creating a clockwise moment, therefore negative, and RB acting at 3 meter upward, so creating an anti-clockwise moment, therefore positive. So now it's just a repetition of the previous problems we discussed. You can have 3 into RB is equal to 252 into 2.25. So 3RB is equal to 252 into 2.25. Therefore, RB is equal to 252 into 2.25 divided by 3. That is 189 Newton. Now you have RA plus RB is equal to 252 therefore ra is equal to 252 minus 189 that is equal to 63 kilonewton so you have ra is equal to 63 and Rb is equal to 189 kilonewton. If it's kilonewton. Uh, is it kilonewton or newton? Uh, it's newton, sorry. So it's not kilonewton, it's just 189 newtons and 63 newtons. Again, if you have any doubt on how to find out the center of gravity, go through the video here where uh, we discussed uh, center of gravity and centroid.